Now we have a special guest who's come all the way from Germany, Dr. Hans Zilmer. It is a pleasure to have you on the telecast today. It's a pleasure for me to meet you and the audience. We have been friends for many, many years. In fact, I think you primarily adopted evolution until... Uh, 19, 1996 about. Uh, and and what, what changed you? Now, you're a, you're a paleontologist, you're an architect, impeccable credentials, a member of the New York Academy of Sciences. Uh, your books are, have been uh, now translated into ten different languages. Really? Yeah. You've written five books, and the primary book was what? Uh, Darwin's Mistake. Darwin's Mistake. Uh, was Darwin wrong? I think Darwin was wrong. Till 1996, I believed in uh, the evolution theory, but I joined ex excavations, and we, I saw... Um, dinosaur foot footprints beneath uh, human footprints. In Glen Rose? In Glen Rose. At the Creation Evidence Museum? <laughs> that's, that's right. And that changed my, my opinion. And I wrote the book, and I changed my opinion to tell you. I heard you speak in German. I don't speak German. But, Dr. Zilmer, I heard you speak in Vienna to an international audience. There were 27 press agencies present when you were speaking and uh, you were in, invited as one of the special guest lecturers I have never heard a more fluent individual speaking uh, to a technical audience on a technical subject in my life you're a masterful speaker in German uh, in, in, in German, <laughs> in German. Not, so, not so in English huh? uh, but your books have now been translated in, in ten languages in, including yeah, English including. Uh, Darwin's mistake now tell me recently there was a special conference where you were invited also some other of my previous guests Dr. Joseph Mastropaolo a tremendous credentialed biologist was there you met Dr. Mastropaolo I'm yeah, sure yeah. and uh, he's been a guest on my program yeah. what was that conference uh, it was a, a hearing against evolution theory. Um, what means um, we, we will say that um, evolution theory will not more uh, teaching in the school as evidence, as as but simply approved, as a theory, pro as proved and, uh, evidence. Yeah. Yes, not as a proven fact, proven yeah. uh, evidence. Now, but that hearing was before parliamentarians, I believe. Is that correct? Yeah, it was in the European Parliament. The European Parliament? In Brussels, yeah. In Brussels. Academics yeah. wanted to know. What did they want to know? Uh, evidences against the evolution theory. And I gave, I gave a lecture. Uh, we have had three lectures. And I gave one of these lectures. Uh, and uh, I gave several evidences against the evolution theory. Uh, scientific findings, points scientific, of evidence. Sci scientific, uh, uh, um, you have several findings in the geological uh, layers. Uh, what's not uh, um, framing the, the geolo geological yes, time scale the, and um, the geologic uh, column and totally inconsistent with inconsistent. that. And you, you have um, radiocarbon dating uh, of dinosaurs. Maybe thirty thousand evolutionary yeah, theory. Maybe thirty thousand years old, but it's rather it's than can, sixty-four million or uh, one hundred fifty million. It, it, it cannot Tell me, since the the program's winding down so fast, I wish we had an entire program on yeah. this. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming all the way from Germany to to tell us this. Now, Dr. Zilmer, what was the response among those academics? to the information that you gave. What was their response? Uh, Professor Goethek is, uh, was the head of the genetics department of the uh, Polish Academy of Science, and he told me my books and uh, these lectures gave um, impact in the Polish science uh, membership. Yes, in the, it, uh, among the scientific community. Yeah. Now, you're a member of the New York Academy of Sciences. Yeah. You're certified in paleontology and an architect. Those are logical uh, sequiturs fitting together. And you're a brilliant researcher. I want to commend you for having any... I believe he told you that your work is having an impact throughout the scientific yeah. European community. Is that correct? 
Uh, that's correct, because uh, all my books are translated in uh, several languages in Europe, like Italian, Spanish, uh, uh, Polish, uh, Czech, all okay. these languages, and uh, there is, there is uh, evidence to prove that the evolution theory is wrong. Totally beautiful. wrong. Beautiful. Totally wrong. Totally wrong. Beautiful. Beautiful. And horizontal variation, no problem. No but problem. You're right. Microevolution micro is no yeah, problem. Microevolution. But macroevolution uh, doesn't micro work. Microevolution does not work. Mm -hmm. Dr. Zilmer, I want you to join me here with our other guests, the center of the platform, and let me just isolate an invitation. I'm surrounded by academics and theologians, eminent, extremely qualified, and I want to give you an invitation to join this group. You see, we're among dinosaurs right now. I dig dinosaurs. And in the Garden of Eden, our first forebears fell. They missed the mark. They deliberately sinned. And I have no doubt that in that garden and throughout the pristine creation, in its original profile, the dinosaurs were there. They're a vital part of the creation. So the fall occurred among dinosaurs, but your recovery can occur among these dinosaurs. Jesus Christ went to the cross, died for you, was buried, rose from the dead. He was the creator in the flesh. He could do that, you know. Rose from the dead now ascended to heaven and is appealing to you to accept him as your savior. Would you pray this simple prayer? Dear God, I'm a sinner. Thank you for sending Jesus to die for my sins. Right now, I open my heart's door. Lord Jesus, right now, step into my heart and live. I accept you as my savior and I will serve you with all my heart. Welcome home. Creation in the 21st Century has been sponsored by Trinity Broadcasting Network. And only with your love gift of support can this program stay on the air. So write to Creation in the 21st Century, P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711. Information like you've received today is available at the Creation Evidence Museum. In printed form, in videos, we even have a coloring book for the kids. Just call or write us at Creation Evidence Museum, P.O. Box 309, Glen Rose, Texas, 76043, area code 254-897-3200, or check us out on the web, creationevidence.org.